Hi guys and welcome to DIY with Nadia. So today I'm doing a trash to treasure tray challenge. This challenge is hosted by Melissa from Melissa Makes a DIY and co-hosted by Leah from Junker Necker. I am very excited to be part of this challenge and I will link these ladies channels down below if you don't know who they are. And also I will attach a playlist so you can check out all the other uh, people who are participating in this challenge. Before we get started, I did want to show you the trays that I will be making over. These were actually thrifted um, a very, very long time ago. I don't know where they're from. Um, they were thrifted by my mom, to be more accurate. And so it has this little tray right here. And then this one, this one does have some damage on it. I don't know if you guys can tell. There's like watermarks on it. This seems like very light wood. Um, there's some staining on it which I don't know if you can tell too much. There's like right there. And so the nice thing about it is it's clean wood. I bet you one uh, coat of chalk paint is going to be quite sufficient for this. So we will see what happens, but it is going to be a tear tray. So if you wanna see how this turned out, stay tuned. Okay, for the leg between my little trays, I will be using these uh, napkin ring holders and they are from the Dollar Tree, but the really cool part of it is they are metal. Like you can hear, you can hear that they are metal, so they are going to be nice and strong. And so I will be just using my dried up E6000 apparently. Okay. And I'm just going to stack them up and leave them overnight. So what I decided to do is I'm just grabbing some jute cord from the Dollar Tree, of course. And I'm just going to wrap it all the way around, starting at the top. Uh, here we go. Because the trays were made out of bare wood, it took me three coats of Rust-Oleum chalked linen white paint because it kept on being absorbed by the wood. And I would leave it to dry and all of a sudden I see wood peeking through. Leave it to dry and then, so basically it took three coats, both of the trays to cover completely. All right, so here is my jute cord wrapped all around my little napkin ring holders and here is that top tray I did paint the back of it and now I'm just kind of approximating and measuring where I need to put my little tray leg on and so around three inches right here and for this because my e6000 is kind of messed up and uh, I need to go <laughs> run and get a tube Tomorrow, so I am just going to use some Gorilla Glue to glue this right on top. Okay, so as you saw, I did dry brush and I just use this brush right here I absolutely love it this is a set of three that come in the Dollar Tree and also this is just white and gray I mean white and black white paint that I kind of mixed together and made this kind of pretty gray in my opinion and I was just dry brushing everything um, I was going to leave it white and not touch it but I just felt like it needed just a little bit more. So I did the inside here, all the outside right here. And then, uh, you know what? Since, why not? I'm going to the, do the bottom and I'm going with the grain. When I do these, I always paint with the grain when it comes to wood. And so I'm dry brushing with the grain. 
so there's consistency to it and it doesn't look off-putting so you kind of have to make sure you're doing it with the brain and same thing here as you see everything's going left to right or right to left and I just did it very very lightly I did do some edges because I mean when things are worn that's the first thing that gets damaged is the edges so I did that I'm going to put this upside down this is kind of loose right here but we're not worried about that right now so I'm just going to take a piece of cardboard and I'm going to fold it in half I just put it along the edge of the table and uh, folded it in half let me take out this metal piece right here and all I want is a little bit of a 90 degree angle I'm going to set it down and then because I'm putting this on an edge this way it'll help me guide where I want to glue this and I'm going to mark only in the back uh, so the markings do not show and so I know where to put it approximately from here and I'll even erase a little bit where I know it, it'll show but I can already see where this place is okay so now that we got that set to go I'm going to use my Gorilla Glue because my E6000 I am all out so I need to do a little shopping haul there jute cord I'm not touching the jute cord at all just going around at the bottom setting it down and I'm going to let it rest before I start decorating I want to make sure it settles in really nicely okay so my tray is all done and I will be putting this baby in my bathroom so what I decided to do is make it into my kind of daily needs um, area as far as skincare so here I got my oils if you guys want to link I'll link this down below I absolutely am obsessed with this oil this is like overall you can use it on anything on your hands on anything um, then some lotions here here's my favorite mask and this is this I get get a TJ Maxx all the time it's Azure Lux for about six dollars so not bad at all some lotion my serum that I use uh, every day repair laser focus serum that I use love this stuff too but anyway so I'm just kind of just laying it out so it's nice and you know I don't know elegant I guess and then I'm going to take these florals and this is the florals that I got 75% at um, my Kohl's I will leave a link to the haul and then on top shelf I have my favorite masks oh this is gonna be not good okay so I have my favorite masks that I use everything from hand repair foot repair um, then these are just some sheet masks and of course my favorite golden um, under eye masks and I'm going to put them this way and then I have my azure gel gold gel wash I'll just put in the front like this because it is going to be on an angle so I kind of want that this facing us and then I have these pretty pretty roses seven same thing I got these at 75% off and I'm just going to just bend it and put it behind my masks and this is just so lovely you guys this turned out so pretty I will insert pictures of what this looks like in the bathroom because it's kind of hard to show you guys from this angle without knocking everything over but look how steady this is very that very steady and I put a lot of stuff on top very secure I feel very confident in that and uh, I'll just take some pictures and show you guys what it looks like you guys think? 
think I think this tear tray turned out so cute and very neutral and I can use it for any holiday anywhere in my home and I love the fact that it's so functional and it holds so much on both of the layers love that but thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and definitely don't forget to hit the thumbs up button with that being said i will see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>